Hey there, Larry and Robin. Good morning to both of you. Trump's win last night here in Iowa sets the stage for the New Hampshire primary. That happens next week. But it's also raising questions about the other GOP candidates who came in behind Trump. Iowa, we love you. On Monday night, former President Donald Trump did what he came to do in Iowa, leave the state a winner. This is the first because the big night is going to be in November. Despite facing more than 90 criminal charges across multiple states, Iowa Republicans showed they want the former president to be their next one. Because of your support, in spite of all of that that they threw at us, everyone against us, we've got our ticket punched out of Iowa. Governor Ron DeSantis and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley took second and third places respectively, leaving their paths forward in question. I love you, Iowa, but we're on to New Hampshire. Tech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy suspending his campaign after a fourth place finish, throwing his support behind Trump. He will have my full endorsement for the presidency, and I think we're going to do the right thing for this country. Since last week, Iowa's been dealing with historically bad weather. We're talking about wind chill factors in the negative 20 to 30 range, blizzard conditions in some cases, and it's still going to take another day or two to figure out just how that bad weather impacted voter turnout. The former president now heads to New York City for another court appearance Tuesday before heading to New Hampshire, hoping for a repeat of his Iowa success. So it's now off to New Hampshire, a great place. We won it last time. And the former president's court appearance today involves that ongoing civil trial involving a sexual assault case brought against him by author E. Jean Carroll. In the meantime, though, Trump is expected to be back on the campaign trail tonight. That's the latest here from Des Moines. We'll send it back to you in Chicago.